Now, for anyone who thought that the greatest rock group in the world might be winding down, the Rolling Stones went and wowed Glastonbury this summer with such, memorable, such a memorable debut there that a new generation fell for them. Soon after, they conquered Hyde Park, a return to the scene of their most iconic concert. 40 years, 44 years ago, I'm sorry. Ronnie Wood has been playing guitar with the band since the mid-1970s and he'll soon be re reunited with the man he replaced in the Stones, Mick Taylor, at what is sure to be one of the highlights of London's Blues Fest. He's going to play for us later, but in the meantime, I'm delighted to say that he's here, live and unplugged. Ronnie, you've got this guitar here. It looks like a rather, rather elderly guitar. Yeah, it's very old. Say. It's... Uh... Um, it's probably from the 40s, maybe no. even as early as the 20s, an old Martin, yeah. So, so a great old guitar, and have you had this all the way through? Uh, well, Keith has. But, it's, um, it's Keith Richards' guitar. He, he doesn't really know that I've uh, got it uh, stolen home. it. Yeah, well, he stole one of my perfectly nice uh, Fender Strats with gold pickups. I said, Keith, that's my guitar, and he said, not anymore, mate. And, uh, and I so, so you've, you've got that one. So I promptly nicked his um, Martin. And but that's what we do. It go, what goes around comes around. around with and it. you're going to be playing the blues on it. You're going to be playing yeah. um, the blues fest. And it's a, it's a tribute to Jimmy Reed. Yes. Who we know is a, a kind of tr a Clyde side trade union leader. Didn't know he wrote songs as well. That's right. He's a very much an all rounder. It's a, it's a different <laughs> Jimmy Reed, of course. Yeah, good old Jimmy Reed. We um, started with songs like Shame, 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 and maybe people will know him for songs like uh, Bright Lights, Big City. He, he was an old sort of 1950s, 1960s blues man, really, wasn't he? Yeah. Died young. The song I'm going to do today, which is called High and Lonesome, is uh, probably his first recording. And uh, that's about 54, 55. 54, 55. Just going back to the summer, it's been an amazing summer for the Stones. You resisted Glastonbury for so long and then you finally gave way. Why, why did you give way this, this year in particular? You knew well, the weather would be good or what? Well, yeah, exactly. We, we were frightened off by the mud and we thought, hang on, it's a good challenge anyway. And Charlie said, no, it's not a jazz club, you know, it's a smoky yeah. jazz club. So we said, try and see the other side of it. It's the biggest festival in the world, yeah, you know. So, so anyway, it was great that we finally good. decided. And then Hyde Park. We can see a little bit of Hyde Park now, I think. OK. Say you all look very cheerful there, not, not Keith Richards, they, they were smiling at the end there, but a very important place for you, Hyde Park, for historic yeah. reasons. Yeah, that's right. Um, 69 to uh, 2013. So I remember meeting the boys on the perimeter of the park when uh, Brian Jones had died and I was walking around the outside and all milling with people and a car pulls up and Mick and Charlie got out of the car and they came up and they said, hey, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing great. And they said, well, we've got to play. Uh, we'll see you soon. I said, yeah, sooner than you think. So it was special for me to... Because you were on stage very shortly afterwards, yeah. Yes. You joined the band. So it's a big, a big time for you. I also want to talk a little bit about the Ronnie Wood years before the Stones, because, of course, you were the faces, the new faces and all of that. Mm. Um, I used to bump into Mick Taylor, actually, on the road uh, when I was with my first group, The Birds. Yeah. And he was with a band called The Gods. And he was always nervous and going... I can't go on, Ron. And I'm going, come on, Mick, you're a great player. Just yeah. go and do it. And he would say, no, you'd have to play for me. So I, often uh, I played his set as well as mine. That was very nice. But here we are today. We're going to be playing together at the Blues Fest and, and weaving together. Uh, we just want to see a little bit of the faces because you were with Rod Stewart during some of those crucial early years as well. Yeah. Let's just have a tiny little look at this. You look exactly the same. There you are. Old grey whistle chest. Old grey whistle chest. Same smile. And you've, you've got a wonderful looking guitar there. Which I that? still have today. Still got it, fantastic. Handmade Tony Zomatis guitar. You keep your guitars for a long time, clearly. Yes. Um, and there's Rod Stewart, not looking the same as he does now, I have to say. Terrible jacket, <laughs> terrible trousers too. <laughs> and you're wearing, you're wearing a pretty weird outfit as well. Do you remember that? Do you remember yeah, that I remember moment? Colin made me that. It was this uh, leather guy. Um, 
So old grey whistle test. And the point about going back to do the blues is where it all, that's where it all starts from. That's where the Rolling Stones starts from. Yeah. That's where modern rock music starts from. Yeah. And Jimmy Reed, who I'm paying tribute to, is a contemporary of Slim Harpo, and he did King Bee, which the Stones did in the early days. And Big Boss Man, I think, uh, the Stones may have covered... Um, but th the great thing is, we all took a leaf out of Jimmy Reed's book, and he was overlooked, unlike people like Muddy Waters, who were more well-known of the blues. Jimmy Reed right. needs a tribute. And rock starts when white boys pick up people like Jimmy Reed and then transmit them back to the Americans, basically. That's where, that's where the British invasion came from, I think. You know, we all had success selling to the Americans what they started in the first place. Is this a nostalgic conversation we're having here, Ronnie? Is British rock music in that way now dead? No, it's right up to date, our conversation, yeah. because uh, we wouldn't be anywhere today, all of the bands, without these roots yeah. of the music, like the blues, you know, goes through into soul and R&B, and that's still, and copied still, still the band okay. echoed in rap as well. Now, people assume you spend most of your time rehearsing and practising music, but you don't. You spend most of your time these days painting, yes? Yeah, that's right. Well, you'll probably hear later on that I should spend more time rehearsing the music. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, I do a lot of time painting. There's an image of you and uh, Keith. Yeah, well, this is two Keiths, actually, two Keiths. with a set list from the Hyde Park. But I, I have changed some of these old images from Unique. And that's an oil painting? Yes. And that's... Um, so what you're doing is you're trying to express what the band is doing in paint, obviously. Um, yeah. But, you, but you're, you move ahead to... You do as it were, much more conventional stuff. You do uh, landscapes and that kind of thing too. Horses, Horses and ballerinas and, and stuff, but my, the main foot in the door was portraits that... Uh, yeah. Got, well, Greg Dyke was telling me earlier on, I think he's got your painting of Bob Dylan. Must be worth a few bob by now. Oh, yeah, you should hang on to that. Yeah. See, this is a bit of the island, the, the landscape, and one of my horses... Uh, Very good. That's a bit Bob Dylan-ish. Do you yeah, ever talk a bit to him about... Off. That, that's a, a view from my dreams of my barn. Um, and then I, I went oh. back the next day and I thought, wow, that okay. came to me in my sleep. Oh. Ronnie, well, thank you very much indeed for joining us. You're going to go and get, get set, but um, yeah. we'll talk later on. Thanks a lot uh, for that. OK, thanks. Cheers. So, on to the next match indeed. And now over to Ronnie Wood, who's going to play us out next week, I should say. We're back at the usual time, in the usual place, BBC One. Don't forget that. I'll be joined by the former Foreign Secretary, David Miliband, and by Sir Elton John, a musical legend, if ever there was one. Speaking of which, we do leave you now with Ronnie Wood, as you've probably never seen him before, playing solo with the old Jimmy Reed blues track, High and Lonesome. Ronnie.
tell me, baby, what's up? wrong with you? You don't treat me, darling, like you, like you used to do. I'm high and lonesome. 